What is the story of an iPhone? It all starts with the purchase of raw materials that go into making the iPhone. You may think that most of it would be in China, but that's only around 300 suppliers. Sourcing of the remaining components happens from countries all over the world, including US, Europe, Japan, Taiwan, Malaysia, and South Korea. Apple keeps a lot of these suppliers on permanent prepayments so that strategic raw materials are reserved to manufacture the iPhone. All of these components and raw materials are then shipped to China where thousands of workers in a single factory unit assemble over 500,000 iPhones in a single day. From there, they are shipped to intermediate warehouses where delivery and logistic companies like FedEx or UPS store them. They then go from the warehouse directly to consumers who have bought their iPhones online. But a large part of the consignment also goes back to the US to Apple's own warehouse facility in California. They then ship them out to retail stores and for direct sales. Apple considerably simplified this part of the supply chain by having all new orders placed directly with the Apple warehouse. Their retail stores all over the country then acts as stocking points between the warehouse and the buyers. This also helps when Apple wants to eliminate certain product lines that aren't doing too well. When a customer is done with his iPhone and wants to upgrade, he can then send it back to the nearest Apple store or a dedicated recycling facility. Finally, all this geographical movement is also dependent on seasonal factors. During Christmas or whenever a new Apple product has been launched, they switch from shipping products by sea to air freight to get them faster into stores and faster into your hands.